Creativity is a uniquely human trait. Modern humans demonstrate remarkable creativity compared to their closest relatives, including innovativeness, flexibility, depth of planning and related cognitive abilities for symbolism and self-awareness that also enable spontaneous generation of narrative art and language. To gain insight into the mechanisms underlying creativity, one might start by testing people's creative abilities, perhaps using different technologies or dissect the brains of people who were known to be particularly creative during their lifetimes. Without art, we're not human. The ability to imagine and to take that imagination and make it into reality is one of the things that is really distinctive about humans. However, when it comes to understanding the evolution of creativity, these options do not exist because all that is left of our prehistoric ancestors are their bones and artifacts such as stone tools that resist the passage of time. Genetic basis for the emergence of creativity in modern humans remains a mystery even after the recovery of full genome data for both chimpanzees and our extinct close relatives, the Neanderthals. Whether it's painting, building airplanes or figuring out how to make salary last to the end of the month, it all stems from the same creative capacity. And there is no better way to flex that creativity muscle than to do art, be exposed to art and to think about art. So when did creativity evolve? Our human lineage is estimated to have split from our great ape cousins approximately 6 million years ago. However, for several million years, even as our brains evolved to become larger and more complex, there is no archaeological evidence of them developing anything creative. I mean, there are examples of our ancestors using flaked stone tools as far back as 2.6 million years ago, but this was likely a slow learning process following a period where our ancestors used existing sharp stones to hunt and defend themselves. This long stretch of time where only primitive tools were used indicates our ancestors had not yet developed the capability to solve new complex problems requiring creative thought. A few million years later, our ancestors were drilling holes in small shells and wearing them around their necks. Then they started carving on them and finally we were introduced to the beautiful cave paintings and nothing seems to explain the sudden takeoff since then. The conversion of just another rare predatory ape into a planet dominator with rapidly progressing technologies was mind-boggling. If this suddenly happened, why is it that Neanderthals, despite surviving until 30,000 years ago, they hardly invented any new tools, let alone farms and cities? With the progression in creativity, we expect our closest relatives to be smarter than all the others. The Neanderthals even prove that it is quite possible to be intelligent and imaginative human beings. They even borrowed their debt but has never experienced cultural and economic progress. The answer is here guys. In the latest study conducted this year, researchers discovered 267 genes that are found only in modern humans and not in chimpanzees or Neanderthals. These uniquely human genes code for the self-awareness brain network and also regulate processes that allow Homo sapiens to be creative in narrative art and science, to be more pro-social and to live longer lives through greater resistance to aging, injury and illness than the now extinct hominids they replaced. The study was led by an international and interdisciplinary team of researchers from the American Museum of National History and Washington University, among other institutions, and is published in the journal Molecular Psychiatry. These 267 genes likely play an important role in the evolution of the behavioral characteristics that set apart Homo sapiens, including creativity, self-awareness, 
cooperativeness and healthy longevity. But mind you, our behavior is not fixed or determined by our genes only. Human creativity, pro-sociality and healthy longevity also emerged in the context of the need to adjust rapidly to harsh and diverse conditions and to communicate in large social groups. And with this, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys. Do let me know what you think of this video in the comment section down below. For related content, check out our previous videos and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.